Hello everyone. Let's provide the complete solution to this problem. X to the power of 4 equals 1. Now the question says we should solve this completely. So we have X to the power of 4 equals 1 to the power of 4. Now the powers are the same, right? Because 1 to the power of 4 is still 1. Now if we equate the basis because the powers are the same then we'll have just one solution and that won't be the complete solution so let's take this to the left now we have x to the power of 4 minus 1 to the power of 4 equals 0 and then from here again i can reduce this power so we have x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus from here again we can have 1 to the power of 2 to the power of 2 equals 0 and mind you here we are having x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 minus 1 to the power of 2 because 1 squared in the bracket will still give us 1 so everything is equal to 0 and then from here what should I do we apply our um, difference of two squares if you have a squared minus b squared it is equal to a plus b into a minus b so i'll apply this to this my a now is going to be x squared so i have x squared plus my b is one so i write one in the first bracket then in the second bracket we have um x squared minus 1 then everything is equal to 0 okay then this means that um, it's either um, this is equal to 0 or this equals 0 or both of them can be equal to 0 so we're going to equate this to 0 first x squared plus 1 is equal to 0 and then um, take this to the left so we have x squared equals minus 1 now since we are looking for the value of x we will have to take the square root of both sides then on the other side we'll have positive or negative then square root of negative 1 now this and this will go so that x is alone and is equal to plus or minus square root of negative one we can equally proceed from here because if you press square root of negative one it becomes um gives you much error with calculator so that means that this is an imaginary solution so we write x to be equal to plus or minus square root of one is imaginary like i said square root of negative one is imaginary like i said before so we will write um, i for square root of negative 1. Mind you, this is a 2 in 1 solution. So we are saying that x is equal to i or negative i. So from here now, we have two solutions to the problem. But then we have not used this um, um, factor, right? We have not used this factor. So we'll go back to this factor and we equate it to zero. Okay, so x squared minus one is equal to zero. From here, we can still apply difference of two squares. So we have x squared minus one squared equals zero because one squared is the same as one. Now we apply difference of two squares so that x plus one will be the first factor. Then the next factor is x minus 1. Then both of them will be equated to 0. So from here now, it is either x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 1 equals 0. Now from here, x will be equal to 0 minus 1 or x is equal to 0 plus 1. Okay, so from here, we have x to be equal to negative 1 or 
x to be equal to positive 1. Now, these two here, x1 to be equal to negative 1, and then x2 to be equal to positive 1, are the real solutions. Okay, and we can verify this. Remember, we had um, x to the power of 4 equals 1. Now, if you put minus 1 to the power of 4, this will still give us positive 1 because this means that we're having minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. Okay, what will this give us? Negative times negative will give us positive. Positive times negative will give us negative. Negative times negative will now give us positive. That means whatever we are going to have will be positive. Then 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 will give us 1. So this means that x to be equal to negative 1 satisfies. And if you use negative 1, which will now be 1 to the power of 4, it is still 1. Remember, 1 to the power of 4 is not the same thing as 1 times 4. So take note of that. Now let's bring the four solutions together. x1 equals um, negative 1. Then x2 equals negative Okay, that will be positive 1. Then our x3 is the complex solution we got before. Let's have negative i. Then our x4 will now be positive i. Okay, if you like, you introduce the positive there. So from here now, we have the four solutions to the equation, which is y, um, x to the power of 4 equals 1. These are the four solutions to this equation. Thank you for watching.